what's the difference between a yeast infection and a bacterial vaginal infection? Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Cly at honestobgyn.com. So many patients come in every week with complaints of some type of infection. And a yeast infection is, is from yeast. There's several types of yeast, but three of them are the most common. And one of them is even the most common of those three. And the symptoms are gonna be uh, some discharge that can be itchy. It can be cottage cheese-like. It's usually a whitish color. What about bacterial vaginosis? That's from bacteria. And so the discharge from BV might be thin, a little more watery. It, it might have a fishy odor. What causes these things? Well, when the, the pelvic or vaginal environment gets off balance for several reasons, that causes an, uh, a growth of either the yeast or the abnormal bacteria. Well, what are the reasons for this? And can you get it fixed? There's many reasons for it. Uh, it could be that you've taken antibiotics and that throws off the vaginal environment. It could be from intercourse. It could be that your partner ha has these bacteria and is giving them to you. It could be sexually transmitted. It could be that some of the devices or things that you're using in your pelvis have the bacteria on them. Or it could be you have diabetes. Um, and so the higher sugar levels are giving you recurrent infections, or you could be on a medication that makes it more susceptible. One little known fact is birth control pills make yeast infections more susceptible. And a decrease in estrogen in the pelvis increases the chance of vaginal infections as well. So at honestobgyn.com, I've put up resources to talk about these type of things as well as so many other things in the honest OB or in the OBGYN realm. I want to give you the information that I have. I want you to be able to know uh, kind of what's happening so you can go to your doctor with some knowledge about your symptoms and about the treatments. And I'm made available pocket guides, giving you the doctor's information, the doctor's guidebook, so that you know the types of things your doctor is going to do and should be offering you to help treat these things. At honestobgyn.com, you can also have a chance as a member to talk with me every week. And especially if you have frustrations with recurrent infections, what a lot of my patients don't realize is we have a 12-week, three-month treatment plan for recurrent yeast or recurrent BV. Not a lot of people know that, but it helps so much. So if you're getting recurrent infections, you might need the 12 week recurrent preventative treatment plan and guideline so that you can get rid of these infections and get back to living your best life. Thank you, Dr. Jeffrey Cly at honestobgyn.com.